Hello to all you budding coders out there. I'm Professor Cody, and it's time to call a fan dubba dozy game. The game is called Pong, and yes, you've guessed it. In this game, you have to smell the player's nose. No, 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 just kidding, coders. It's really a bit like one player table tennis. Now, coders, before we start coding the game, why don't you find out how to enter this month's free competition in the description below this video? This month we're giving away 5 free copies of the Professor Cody book. And remember, if you like making this game, give it a big Professor Cody thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. To start off, simply type Scratch into a search engine like Google and then when you reach the Scratch website, choose Create. Ok, let's start by making the ball sprite. So let's get the ball there. And we don't need the cat anymore, so let's delete the cats. And now what we're going to do is get the green flag block. And inside that we're going to put a point in direction 45. Because we want that direction for the ball. Ok, let's get a forever loop. And then inside the forever loop we're going to start with move 10 steps. So it begins to move inside the loop there. If on edge bounce means that it bounces off the walls. There we go, that works fine. Ok, what's next? Let's make the paddle now the tennis racket. So let's get the rectangle tool, make a nice shape there. And we're going to put that at the bottom there so that it, it can move backwards and forwards at the bottom of the screen. So let's get to the code now and what we want this time is when the arrow is clicked it moves in a particular direction. So if the left arrow is clicked we want it to move to the left. So it's minus 10 because it's moving to the left. Now we get another one. This time when the right arrow is clicked what we wanted to do this time is move to the right. Yes. So we're going to this time choose move 10 steps. So now if we press the right arrow it moves to the right, the left arrow it moves to the left. Ok. Now what's next? Let's call it paddle and let's go back to the ball now and we're going to get another when green flag block there and we're going to get a forever. And what we're going to do this time is put an if inside the forever so that if the paddle is touching the ball we want something to happen. So let's choose paddle there. So if it's touching the paddle we want it to bounce off of the paddle. So let's get first of all a sound and let's start the sound boing so that every time it touches the paddle it makes a boing sound. And then let's get a turn and we're going to turn an angle there. But we're going to turn a random angle because we don't really want it to be the same every time. That would be too easy. So let's just choose a few angles here. Let's go from 160 and let's put in here 200. So it will be bouncing at different angles there. And we're going to move 10 steps there. Ok, so let's just try it now to see what happens. This time when it hits the paddle it will bounce off at a particular angle and the angle will change every time. Right, we need a variable now and we're going to call our variable score so we can keep our score for the game. Ok, so at the beginning of the game we want a score of 0 so let's say uh, set the score to 0 at the beginning of the game and then each time the ball touches the paddle we want to score 1 point. So change score by 1 each time it touches the paddle. Ok, now we also want a floor. And what the floor does is it will be at the bottom of the game there so that if it, if it touches the floor the game is over. Because the whole point is that you need to be hitting the paddle every time. So let's move the floor down here. We've made the floor black so it's different from the paddle. And what we're going to do now is write some code. So we go, well, let's call it let's call it floor first of all. Yes, let's put floor in there. And then we're going to go back to the ball and back to the coding for the ball up in the top left there. Choose the code tab. And what we're going to do is use another if. And this time, if it touches the floor, we want the game to be over. So first of all, let's get the touching. And this time, it's touching the floor. 
there let's choose floor and we want some say blocks now because we want to say the game is over at the end of the game so we type in here game over and we want to give the player their score at the end of the game so we choose another block there and this time we say your score is so we need one more say block now and in the last say block what we're going to do is get the variable and we're going to put the variable inside the say block so it will say the score let's try it now and away it goes it bounces there bouncy 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 and it's bouncing there oh are we going to do it yes we are we've got three points already very good and will we get four points we've got four points but now we hit the floor oh dear the game is over and your score is four excellent now why not try some of our challenges the best one is the final challenge where you make a two-player game so let's see if you can do that If you have completed the challenges or even made your own fan Dabadozi game, put a link to the game in the comments below. Or if there is a game you'd like to learn how to code, again leave a comment and I'll see what I can do. Well, it's a great big Arrivederci from Professor Cody until next time.